Okay, listen to this. Listen, listen how <laughs> this is. He is total in total incoherence. He, he doesn't understand what is going on. He doesn't understand what Jesus said or what Jesus is saying. So, listen to to what he says, which makes no sense. And it is uh, not only doesn't make any sense. It is unbiblical. A defense attorney. Now. Why do we need a defense attorney? I mean, mostly we need a defense attorney because number one, we're guilty, we're sinners, and number two... Okay, he says we, we need a defense attorney because we're, uh, we're guilty, we are sinners. Uh, uh, but according to Christians, you're not guilty. You have been saved. You're not guilty of... of you have no sins. So I don't know what he's talking about. We have someone who's always accusing us. We have a Satan. We have the devil who's always coming into the courtroom of our own heart. There is no devil. There is no such being. So this is a more, a more nonsense. And accusing us of our sins. Let me pause so I can cough. Allergies. Okay. Sorry about that. Where was I? We have the devil coming to always accuse us. And so we need someone to stand and, and argue the case for us. Now... What's interesting is that while, while the devil comes and accuses us of our sins, sometimes right, sometimes wrong, I mean mostly right, he has plenty to accuse us of, the Holy Spirit does not present the evidence of our own good works or our own righteousness to settle our court case. It's not like the Holy Spirit comes into the court and says, oh, Your Honor, <clears throat> I'd like to present the evidence of all the good works that Brian has done so that you can declare him innocent. No. <clears throat> the Holy Spirit comes with totally different evidence. Now, what evidence is that? Espresso. For that, we need to consider that the second place that this word paraclete is used. And we see it in 1 John chapter 3, where John says, this is an amazing verse. It's 1 John says, chapter 2. We have a paraclete with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. Now, someday I'll do a... Okay, <laughs> he just said it there. Who is the paraclete? Jesus is the paraclete. You, you have to understand also that according to Catholic, they believe in the Trinity. So the Holy Spirit is like another, another person, has another role. But Jesus is the paraclete, not the Holy Spirit in, in, their, own, in their own Trinity, which is also, of course, uh, nonsense. A light board video about the courtroom of the conscience, the courtroom of heaven, and, and, and connect all those dots. But the amazing thing is that not only is our case being heard down here in the courtroom of our own hearts, but our case is also being heard in heaven. And we have a defense attorney in heaven who's Jesus. And when Jesus goes to the throne room, to the heavenly courtroom, to argue our innocence, he doesn't bring there the evidence of all of our you know, fantastic good works, all our piles and heaps of good things that we've done. No. He brings the evidence of his blood. Oh, wait a minute. He brings the evidence of the cross. He brings the evidence of his suffering. That's the evidence that's presented before God the Father in heaven for your righteousness and for my righteousness. Now, the, the amazing thing is, so if you can imagine the courtroom of heaven and the devil brings there a sin that you've committed and Jesus says, objection, your honor, uh, that sin is died for. And God the Father says, sustained. None of that is biblical. That is some mythology invented by Christian. None of that is biblical at all. The devil goes around and he brings some other evidence. And here's some more evidence of their sin. And Jesus says, objection. That sin is covered in my blood, sustained, and so it doesn't stand, and so forth. It's beautiful. This is the picture of our, how our advocate is doing his work in heaven. Well, now, the same thing is true for our advocate, for our paraclete, down in the courtroom of our own conscience, in the courtroom of our heart. The Holy Spirit argues, not based on your good works or on my good works, but rather he, he argues based on the blood of Jesus. His argument is the death of Jesus on the cross. His argument for your righteousness and mine is that substitutionary atonement, the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. And based on that argument, we are forgiven. We are righteous. We are holy. We are innocent. So, 
This is what it means that we have a paraclete sent to us from... No, that's not what it means. That is not what it means. Okay, this is, I told you that you have been, you, you were sold a package. This is part of the package, okay? This is the garbage that's inside the package. In the heavenly throne room, that we have a comforter, that we have an advocate, that we have a defense attorney, the Holy Spirit, who comes to testify of the kindness and the mercy of God in Christ, even into our... That's not what the advocate comes for. Jesus said that the advocate will convict with evidence the world, not believers, the world regarding sin, rightness, and judgment. That has never happened. It is impossible for the Holy Spirit to do that because it says, and of course it's the spirit of truth, it says in John 14, 17, the world cannot receive it cannot receive it, cannot know it, can, excuse me, cannot know this way of thinking. So what he's saying is invented mythology that they have, Christianity creates these scenarios that are not, and it happens, I guess it happens because they don't understand it, so they, they have to create something to, to give an explanation, you know, for 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 the for what Jesus is saying, but they don't know, they don't understand what Jesus is saying. Our own hearts. Okay, so there you have it. That is coming from the mouth of a Catholic. Okay, and then now I'm gonna show you more evidence from other people how they speak about the advocate. 